Hey Desiree, Adam here again from LA Nissan. I told you uh, in the email that I think that I thought, sorry, that uh, I had something really special for you. And look what I got my hands on here. So we got a 2010 Mazda 3 Sport. You did say you were looking for something sporty. And how about a nice striking blue color? Again, you said that would be something you're interested in, and I did find it. So I'll just get Dwayne, my cameraman, to come over here a little bit. So we got the HID headlights, automatic, so they turn on uh, at night and uh, turn off when you leave your vehicle. You never have to worry about, you know, oh crap, I left my headlights on. Just moving down here, we have the fog lights again. So as I was mentioning, back road driving, highway driving, you're going to have that. Up here, we have the rain sensor. Uh, wiper blades so it will actually do it for you without you having to react so it senses rain turns on automatically really nice feature of this unit one more thing typically these days you see mirrors that are just black not matching the, the body paint these nope this is a matching color of the body paint here really nice feature here got the breakaway mirrors if you get a little bit too close to you know something in a drive through or a parking lot these aren't going to snap off they're just going to fold back all right, so just moving towards the back here, just gonna open it up a little bit. So we got the black leather interior here, immaculate shape. It hardly looks like anyone's ever sat in it. And really, that's the case. This thing has super low kilometers for 2010, uh, in the 70,000 range, actually. Just get Dwayne to get him a little bit closer here. Show you the speaker there. We got top of the line, both speakers in here, which is really unreal for a Mazda unit. I think that's really, really neat. So you know what, I'll just get Dwayne to uh, hop in the vehicle here. I'm going to hop in the driver's seat and maybe, you know, show you a couple features on the inside. Alrighty. So, like I said yesterday when we were shooting the video of the PT Cruisers, I use my heated seats in the winter every single day cool thing about these heated seats here I don't know if you can see on the camera there is they have different settings all the way from one to five so if you just like a little bit heat a little bit of heat on your back and backside you can put it at one you know maybe a little bit more move it to three four five so on and four so forth excuse me uh, we got the push button start here so just have uh, the keys in uh, the vicinity to the, in the, oh sorry in the vehicle within a you know one meter vicinity here it's gonna start up nicely for you uh, we won't do it because we're in the bay here and we don't want to get smoked out but Look at all the controls you have on your steering wheel here. So you got your, your Bluetooth connection here, you got your cruise on and off, uh, you have your, you know, you can change your stations, the volumes, the list goes on and on. Got your navigation here. Uh, we don't have the unit on right now. I don't, like I said, I don't want to start it up here. Uh, my mistake. So yeah, the, the big old screen right here for your navigation, so on and so forth. Uh, again, really cool thing about this unit is the dual climate control. Normally you're starting to see that in, you know, 2013, 14s and 15s. So that's very rare to have that in 2010 Mazda unit. So yeah, again, I just wanted to point out a couple things here. Uh, I don't want to take too much of your time. Another thing I will mention is the leather wrapped steering wheel. Nice, comfortable grip. Awesome. One last thing before I finish the video here. I don't know if you enjoy driving manual in the past. This is an automatic, but it does have the Tiptronic. So you can kind of be shifting on the fly. It'll simulate a manual transmission. And uh, you know, it, uh, it kind of gives a better performance and, and uh, it's funnier to drive in my opinion. Again, I don't know if you're big on manual, but if that is the case, well, you have that there at your disposal. So you know what, Desiree? Again, I didn't want to take up too much of your time. So I just wanted to show you this unit uh, for a couple minutes here. So again, if you have any questions or concerns about this unit, you can contact me through email that uh, we've been, you know, exchanging emails back and forth at the dealership at 780-769-0060 or through my personal and confidential cell phone, which is 297-4985. And again, that's a 780 area code. Thanks, Desiree. Bye.